Alexander Gustafson and Mauricio Shogun Hua. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. Gustafson is 31, Hua is 36. Gustafson is four inches taller. He will have a three inch reach advantage. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out. Here we go. Opens up with a front kick. Fainting. Clean Superman punch. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Gustafs. Good defense there. Oh! Oh, he's getting hit. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. And now starting to snap off. There he swung with the haymaker. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Nice. Oh! How about that shin? Oh! Huge right hand! This could be it! Oh, look at yeah, that! Three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Well, oh! this could be it right here. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Oh, solid jab. Throwing that big oh. shot to the head, he's stunned. Big punches. Oh, he's tagging him. He's got him hurt here. Big shots. Ninety seconds now to go in round one. Trying to establish that jab once again. That's a clean left hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. He went for an elbow. to go. Oh, Superman punch is good. Final seconds here. Oh, that's a big block. Oh, he hurt him again. Oh, he the horn sounds for the end of round one. Archer, there's the horn at the end of the round. Thankfully for him, he will live to see another round. You saw him get knocked down near the end of the round. If there were 10 more seconds, that likely would have been the end of his night. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. And let's check it out from a different angle. Brittany Palmer is in the building. All right, round two. That 
last round was absolutely insane. Both guys hurt on multiple occasions. If they continue it this way in this round, someone's gonna get knocked out. shot combinations and perhaps that's why his opponent oh, oh, he's oh, he is clearly oh, in big big trouble he tagged him again <laughs> tries a big hook to the head but misses oh beautiful kick to the body there and he just left himself wide open for that strike very vulnerable by leaning in keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Blocking all the shots coming towards his head. All right, so another stiff jab there. Really good use of that weapon, not unlike he did in the previous round. He got tagged there. Careful here, he's in trouble. Just over two minutes now to go on the round. Well, if he's going to slow his opponent down at all, Joe, he's got to think about mixing things up a little bit. Translation, some strikes to the body. Vicious uppercut lands on the button. Yeah, Joe, a near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night, he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And here, Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. <laughs> Well, here we are inside the famed O2 Arena in London, England. Good to have you with us as we get underway. Good defense there. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. All of those are blocked. Big oh, elbow there, man. Man. Keeping his head protected here. Excellent blocking. Big Beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. Huge elbow there, Joe. That shot blocked by Slice. Body kick now by Dos Santos. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Nice defense there. Huge block. 
Effective punch there by Kimbo Schlecht. Mixes it up. with that right hand. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Slice. And both guys really throwing with authority. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Straight right hand now just misses. inside leg kick landed there by Slice. Good punch. And the kick lands. You're seeing a lot of different looks tonight, Joe. Switches to Southpaw once again. Elbow attempt now. That one blocked by Sagano. for him there, a huge round from Dos Santos. A huge round. His opponent was in deep, deep water, but through conditioning and willpower, managed to make it out alive. And here's a devastating punch. That... Brittany Palmer is in the building. All right, round two. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys hurt on multiple occasions. If they continue it this way, oh, to the head, he's stunned. He's got him hurt here. That's a big block, Joe. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to be... Oh! This could be it right here. start to mix things up a bit more. At this point, he's worked the head to great effect, but get some strikes to the midsection. Try to slow your opponent down. How about that chin? And Joe, a lot of fighters aren't aggressive enough or confident enough in their elbows to actually try to stop a fight like that to maximize force over a short distance and really try to take a fighter out with elbows. Oftentimes you'll see it on the ground, but rare to see a knockout courtesy of a standing elbow as that young man just turned it. And here's the end.
Joe. That is one well-timed overhand there by McGregor. Slips the punch. Nice punch there by Miller. Oh, a beautiful there. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, elbow to the head. Looked oh, like it did start him a little bit. He's in trouble right now. Body kick, look at that. Looked like he might have landed. The oh, he's out. Uppercut that got him the win. Yeah, Joe, a pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. And here's the end of the fight. Let's take a look at that from a different angle. Here it is one more time. Perfectly placed uppercut. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 25 seconds of the very first round.